Hello, everybody. We are doing a video of today's training so that you can um, be thinking about these topics asynchronously because we won't all be able to meet at the time uh, that we previously had planned to meet today. So the goal of the meeting today uh, was to talk about what's next. So if we um, begin thinking about after testing, um, and just so you know, this is online and it got sent to everyone. Uh, we'll send it out again today. And there is an agenda uh, that just talks about our topics today. So the idea is intake and registration. So just to review what we did last week with intake and reg, students go online, they wanna come back, they do a mini reg, we capture that information, um, their name, their returning students or not, subjects they're interested in, email and phone number. And then we go ahead and call them and we help them to complete the long form registration on the telephone. Then they come in and test with Edna, either remotely or face-to-face -face now in person. We are accepting testing times by reservation, um, and that is happening today. Now, we've already had some students complete the registration. So the what's next, traditionally what would happen is that folks would go to an orientation class with either me or uh, Tracy or Carrie, and I would test them uh, in the written and in the um, speaking test if they're ESL. If they're ABE student, they would have um, an appointment made with one of the counselors and they would go through the um, orientation part, portion and talk about um, curriculum and different things like that. So the what's next is what we're talking about today. After they complete the testing, what happens? So usually, what we really like to do is create an ID card creation. Um, my idea was to have um, the Paris back where they could take a picture as folks are testing. And then when they were finished testing, they got their ID card right away. So the next time they came on campus, there was an actual physical card. Um, we're going to put that process on hold. Uh, Alicia said to wait on the ID card creation. Um, the problem is we just don't have enough personnel today to do it, or we're not sure how that process will be rolled out in the future. Um, students won't be coming on campus, so Alicia just wants to table this. Okay, So step one, uh, students get a generated log on for campus. So. Right now, we had a meeting this morning about it. Uh, Martha and Chuck are figuring it out and they need to change, train the registrars. So basically what needs to happen is that Edna will say, this student finished the class. They go to the registrars and they get a Canvas log on. The same day they finish the test, that one sheet direction will be log on to your Canvas prerequisite class and follow the directions. So all of those modules and things on the Canvas course, that's what needs to happen. So that's where they sign their tech agreement. That's where they get their student handbook code of conduct. That's where, and all of that is translatable in every language. They're signing all of those documents, going through their COVID, um, waivers and different things like that, understanding those things. Uh, and then they will be assigned to a class. If they are an ESL student, they will need to take a written and oral test. The written can be done online. They can still do the written module without me, without face-to-face. -face. That doesn't have to happen. But the um, oral, we're going to need to make an appointment where they do a Zoom call. So we need to calendar that in where they go immediately to um, 
a Zoom request for their speaking and listening. We could have them record their answers on a recording and we can listen to their first recording. That could be done later at a later time. We haven't gotten that piece up and running yet. Um, and that's just a question of personnel. We haven't had people here to work through these meetings with and to discuss logistics. Carrie Martin is still out. Um, and so Alicia's been out and we're just trying to figure out how things will go. Step three, as they work through the modules, we'll collect their completed forms in an Excel spreadsheet. And so there's all a list of the different uh, forms that are going to be created, the technology assessment and all those things that will go, the employee survey, different ideas about that. And my understanding is that these folks are working on those forms and they will all be added to the prereq class. Uh, step four, they'll go to their ABE counselor or CalWORKS if they're CTE or ABE. If they are ESL, they'll take an oral assessment Zoom call, and we must schedule these at certain times of day and evening. So who can do the Zoom assessment? So with training, I would really like to get that training happening um, for the power brigade, where there's like a group of people where um, that would be a great set of questions for them to answer and with proper training on how to use the rubric, um, anyone can give this assessment. So it's just a question of training that needs to happen sooner rather than later. Step five, students get added to a teacher's class. So then the counselor uh, and registrar emails the teacher with the information or where they can get to access it, or it will just automatically go into their ASAP as usual. And then we're off and running once the teachers have those bodies in their classes on the ASAP. But wait, so we need that training for the oral assessments and the Canvas. And then we also need to have a clear procedure given from the IT Martha side of the house to our registrars and make sure that that training is very clear. Um, and that's kind of what this next step piece will be to give students a log on. So without the log on, they can't do the orientation. Um, otherwise, the orientation is done similarly to class. It's done asynchronously. Okay, All right. thank you. Again, if you have questions, uh, we will be meeting um, probably at a rescheduled time as today all of our current people are working and they're working from home. So we're going to push this out to you so you can see it and work through it asynchronously. asynchronously. And uh, again, we're just waiting on the Martha piece of the puzzle to talk with the registrar piece of the puzzle. And Edna has a list of folks who've already completed testing and we'd love for them to try the orientation class because it'll help us work out the kinks, right? Um, just everybody keep in mind, nothing's gonna work perfectly. Uh, we just need to be patient with each other and work out the things as they come up with students and with each other, okay? All right, I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you soon.